हे मेकर्स दिस इज थ्रुवीन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई पावर बी बिग इन ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज यू आर वॉचिंग टेंथ एपिसोड ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट वे टू मेक योर रिपोर्ट बेटर means we are going to talk about the different visualization tips and tricks for power bi here we are going to talk about the different visuals along with that some special feature if you leverage those feature into your report you can make the better representation of your data storytelling so without further delay let's get started but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me so first of all let me just open the power bi report that we have started from our previous session so here i am on my machine and this is the power bi report that we have developed in the class number 129 now over here let me talk about first trick for ui ux over here about conditional formatting inside the world of power bi sometimes you know you are having this kind of matrix visual or table visual in the power bi and sometimes you know you want to apply some sort of formatting on your column let's say for an example this is the measure i do have over here called yoy growth percentage right now let's say for an example here i want to apply some sort of conditional formatting that okay i want this to be diverge into different type of color then how can i do that thing so it is very easy inside the world of power bi for any column which you want to apply the conditional formatting just select that column from your visualization section let's say yoy growth percentage is something which i want to apply my conditional formatting then i can simply select this up over here when you click on this arrow icon over here here you are able to see an option called conditional formatting click on that as soon as you open this up you are able to see different options over here in conditional formatting right now we are having a uh, four option over here background color font color data bars icons and web url what kind of formatting you want to apply okay let's say for an example if you are applying background color which means that in that particular cells background some sort of formatting will be applied i am selecting first of all background color from here and let's see what it come up with so when you select that background color it just open up this kind of pop up for you now over here you just need to provide that okay what kind of style you want to apply over here and then which one you want to apply it as so over here there are different things available first option here is a gradient which means that it will just apply this kind of gradient color whichever you select from your minimum to maximum value so minimum and maximum value are decided automatically over here based on your data point so let's say for an example if you select gradient for your yoy growth percentage over here and let's say you select this color and this color and let's say in between that you pick up any color middle color okay then what happen here is your color formatting look like this your minimum value started with this kind of light color then moving forward for the higher value it just move to this type of color okay let's see this effect and see what kind of uh, implementation we are getting over there so once you click on that you know this is how you can see over here so you can see your minimum value was like this kind of lightish color and you know you are uh, moving forward for the higher value you can see this kind of uh, color over here and in between that you can see this kind of yellow shades over here so it decide that color shade automatically based on the gradient pattern that you have supplied into your formatting okay apart from that you can apply the other different conditional formatting as well so let's say for an example here i do have a column called my revenue column on that let's say i want to apply the different type of conditional formatting let's say i'm clicking on this and conditional formatting and this time let me choose the font color over here if you choose the font color similar like this we are able to see the different format style this time let me choose the rule from here and if you choose the rule over here basically it is providing you the condition to apply over here now let's say for an example here i just want to apply a condition that okay if my value is in between uh, greater than or equal to 0 to 60000 then let's choose the number from here then probably i just wanted to show some sort of reddish color like this 
एंड अदरवाइज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू मेक इट लाइक ओके इफ इट इज ग्रेटर देन सिक्सटी थाउजेंड एंड लेस देन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड देन प्रोबेबली आई जस्ट नीड टू हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ ग्रीन कलर ओवर हियर ओके सो आई एम जस्ट अप्लाइंग दिस काइंड ऑफ कलर फॉर्मेटिंग ओवर हियर एंड नाउ वेन एवर यू अप्लाई दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग मेक श्योर यू सिलेक्ट द नंबर फ्रॉम बोथ द साइड एंड क्लिक ऑन ओके एंड दिस इज वॉट इट इज अप्लाई दिस काइंड ऑफ फॉर्मेटिंग इन द फॉन्ट साइज ओवर हियर फॉर योर सेल्फ ओके सो यू कैन सिंपली अप्लाई द कंडीशन डिपेंडिंग ऑन योर नीड सो लेट से ओवर हियर आई एम एंड अगेन आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू द फॉन्ट कलर एंड दिस इज हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक ओवर हियर मेनी वैल्यू इज मोर देन फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड और मोर देन दैट ओके लेट मी जस्ट चेंज द लिमिट ओवर हियर कॉल्ड सिक्सटी थाउजेंड देन ग्रीन कलर देन प्रोबेबली एट मेनी प्लेसेस यू विल बी एबल टू सी दिस काइंड ऑफ ग्रीनिश कलर ओवर देर फॉर योर सेल्फ right so this is how you can simply apply your conditional formatting inside the world of power bi now let's uncover some of the more features into the power bi report sometimes you know if you observe your visualization section we uncover many different visualization over here so this is the slicer visuals which we have added into our previous session now let me add one more slicer on the page over here so i'm just moving down this particular visual and let me add one slicer over here and this time let me add the slicer as a manufacturer so i'm selecting manufacturer from this columns over here and when you drag this column this is how the different manufacturer looks like okay now whenever you apply any kind of slicer and if you go to the format property there also there are different options available if you click on the slicer setting there are vertical list and horizontal drop down option available over here so if you select vertical list this is how it looks like if you select drop down it will convert the drop down into this kind of drop down value okay and there is one more option called tile and when you select the tile it will just open up this kind of tile for you for the filtering and whichever record you will select based on that it will just filter out your data according to that okay now here you can make it more better okay over here in manufacturer column we are having one more column called logo column and if you look at this data over here in manufacturer logo is nothing but this kind of public facing url for yourself of your image okay now what i want to implement here is somehow in the slicer i want to show the logo instead of just plain text like this so for that what can i do here is whenever we are having the image url first of all make sure you select that column as soon as you select the column you will be able to see the column tools option and from here from the formatting you just need to change the format of your column so over here i'm just changing the data type of my uh, thing as simple text and over here from the data category we just need to define that this is my image url so you just need to simply pick up the column and already make sure here is the text data type and data category you just pick up the image url that's how it tell that particular column that this is an image column so let me pick up image url over here and now let me do one thing this is my slicer and instead of this manufacturer let me pick up the logo column over here and let me remove my manufacturer columns over here and here i am you can see everywhere now it is showing this kind of logos for you so if you select now contoso it just show the contoso data over here okay if you choose fabricum you can see the fabricum data over here as well okay so this is how you can simply change your slicer as well inside the world of power bi so whenever you are having the requirement to show images inside your slicer this is the best way to represent that thing over here okay now let's go one more level up for the visualization part over here sometimes you know here there are some other charts also available which is very very useful one of the chart is over here into this visualization section is gauge chart okay let's add the gauge chart on the screen so what i'm doing here is i'm simply uh, dragging and dropping the gauge chart over here 
all right now in this gate chart you can just provide whatever your target would be i mean whichever value you want to represent just drag it over here let's say for an example here i am just dragging a value for overall revenue so i am just dragging the revenue column over here and this is the showing me the overall revenue for me okay now over here in the gauge you can define the target as well that what kind of target you want to achieve for your business so over here i am just setting up the target as my previous year sales okay so let me just drag that measure over here in the target so it is just showing that okay you are having the this is your overall gauge and your target is around 448.62 million but right now you have done 484.11 uh, million which means that you have already achieved your target so you can just add this kind of gauge chart as well inside your visualization to make it much more better okay now let me just arrange this visualization in a proper fashion so what i'm doing here is logo is something again i'm just taking it at the very top and this year drop down let me just convert into drop down so i'm just selecting this out go to the slide search settings and clicking on drop down so it just converted into this kind of drop down over here for myself so let's just make it over here like this and this is how it looks like let me just drag my visualization as well over here so i'm just making some of the columns bigger a little bit and utilizing the space in a proper fashion in order to make my report nicer over here then you can simply arrange this visualization over here like this and at the very bottom you can just add this kind of uh, gauge chart as well for yourself okay and now at the end you can just do a little bit formatting as well so over here inside the world of power bi if you want to apply any kind of uh, any kind of formatting basically uh, there are certain set of things you can implement over there for yourself so let's say for an example over here i just want to apply some sort of shadow effect so i can just select the visualization and go to the format property and go here and search for the shadow and when you search for the shadow it just showing you this kind of shadow let me just make it up as a position as a top center i mean i just want this shadow in the center so it just provide you this kind of shadow effect to you okay similar like this if you just wanted to apply the formatting over here same way select your visualization and search for the shadow and turn that on over here and let me just make it up like a center line over okay now if you just want to copy this effect to the rest of the visualization select your visualization over here and click on the format painter over here this is basically copying the formatting from your report so copy it out over here and drag it over here so it just apply this formatting as well over here similar way format painter and just apply it to here and same way format painter and just apply it to here okay and this is how it looks like so we just did that and now let me just shrink this a little bit and this is how now it looks like right and let me just make it a little bit bigger and this is how simply it looks like all right so now at least the report is visually looking nice okay you can add more things as well if you want you can explore out the other visualization as well available in the power bi report so you can you can uh, check it out and explore that out okay now in the next session what we are going to do is many times we have a situation where we need to apply some sort of theme inside our power bi report that okay whichever theme or color palette that you are using for this report you want to be consistent with your other reports as well so at that time you can always apply some sort of theming inside the world of power bi so we will talk about the theming in our next episode so stay tuned over there so that's all i wanted to talk about for today's episode for formatting the different visualization for power bi report hope this is helping you and valuing your time if so hit thumbs up subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram if you are looking for any pay training the links are available in the description box do check it out for the live schedule for my live training program with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye